Greetings. I am Shujat Ali from Medicos Lectures by Shujat, and today we are going to talk about the osteology and anatomy of bones of foot. We are going in complete detail of these bones. So bones of foot they are just similar to that of hand bone. Like hand bone, we have seven tarsals, five metatarsals, and fourteen phalanges in foot. So discussing one by one the details of these bones. So let's first discuss about the detail of tarsal bones. So we divide the tarsal bone in two rows. We divide them in proximal rows and in distal rows. In proximal rows we have two bones. This is our calcaneus bone and this is our talus bone. In the same way, in distal row we have four bones. And this bone is our cuboid bone. This is our medial cuneiform. This is our intermediate cuneiform, and this is our lateral cuneiform. And just intermediate to these proximal and distal row of tarsal bone, we have a navicular bone. As its name shows, navi. So its shape is just like that of bone of navi. So we say that it is our navicular bone. On posterior to these tarsals, we have five metatarsals. We have head base. And shaft in these metatarsals, and on posterior to these metatarsals, we have fourteen rows of fourteen phalanges arranged in five rows, three in each, but except greater toe. Greater toe possesses two phalanges. Right now, I have these separate bones of foot. So, if we discuss these separate bones in this model, so from this, this is our calcaneus bone. At this position, connected anteriorly with cuboid bone and also a bit with that of fibula bone. And this bone, this is our talus bone, present at this position in foot, connected anteriorly with that of uh, navicular bone as well as with that of three cuneiform bones. So we have a metatarsal as well. So this metatarsal is possessing head. Shaft and base. I have five metatarsals at this position. I have the separate bones that are proximal rows and distal rows. So these are the distal rows of foot, bones of foot. These are the distal rows of tarsal. This is our cuboid bone in the same way. This is our lateral cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform at this position, as well as this small bone. This is our medial cuneiform. As you see, this shape of bone, a boat-like shape. So this is our navicular bone. Now talking about the phalanges. So these two phalanges, they are for the greater toe, as greater toe possesses two phalanges. And these are the phalanges for the other other fingers of our foot. And they are three in numbers. And this is our basic lecture on anatomy of bones of foot. Hope you all understand it. Don't forget subscribe to Medicos Lectures by Shujat. Thank you so much.